Aries, this is Soul. And Aries, this is your monthly, uh, well, your December monthly uh, general love and relationship messages uh, reading. It is for Aries Sun, Moon, and Aries Rising Signs as well. Aries, I hope all is well. Before I begin your messages, I want to wish all the Aries a very safe and happy uh, Thanksgiving celebration for those Aries who celebrate Thanksgiving. And also because this is the December uh, message for you, I want to also throw out there a Merry Christmas and uh, ultimately moving on to January. Uh, Happy New Year 2020. Okay, so Aries, let's get right into your messages here without further ado. I'm using my go to deck to deliver your messages um, the, the Victorian Romantic uh, Tarot deck, and also using three cards from Simply Love's Oracle uh, deck to complement your reading. All right, Aries, let's see what's coming up for you. Uh, all cards should be in the upright position. Um, Let's see what the focus is for Aries Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs. This is also for Aries Singles and Aries that are coupled, okay? Messages that may come through for you. So, energies for Aries for December 2019, General Love and Relationships. Shadow card energy, Aries, uh, energy that may play out alone with the rest of the cards that I select for you uh, regarding love and relationships relates to that of the major arcana, the strength card. So we're starting off pretty good here, Aries. And uh, if it is a major arcana that shows up as the focus card, it is also uh, can be in support of um, the rest of the cards that I select for you. OK, so. You're feeling all empowered. This is a card of sexual energy, sexual expression, filling in your own power, strength. This is called a passion. Some things could be uh, very, very intense and passionate for you connecting to your relationships and stay focused on that because I'm not going to be discussing any other areas or aspects of your life. So take this strength card. So whatever you might be dealing with. Uh, just for an example, if you're in a relationship and it's not going the way that you want, you have the strength to deal with it okay and then if you are single you have the strength the courage this is about courage taking risk to put your energies out there and possibly connect with someone new now strength card represents leo the lion also part of your energies and that of sagittarius male or female so you're starting off pretty good here aries let's see and hope that it continues very first card is your focus for the month when it comes to your relationships and let's see what we get. All right, here we go. All right, so your focus for the month, uh, Aries, relates to, oh, look at this. <laughs> so you got the lovers. Wow. Okay, so Aries, you got the lovers, and you know what the lovers is all about. All right, we're not talking about business partnerships. It could be family and, and all things related to the holidays. So, yeah, we have that. That's a given. This is about new partnerships. This is about existing partnerships. Uh, you know, mutual respect for one another, feeling um, romantic chemistry. Yes, this is all good. So your focus is on relationships and we have the lovers to open us up. So Aries with the strength card showing up here. And then also, if this video cuts off on me, I will continue. Doesn't matter when it stops. I will throw in a second half because I don't know. I just have this uh, impression that it will. Uh, but we have the, the lover's card. So, seeing eye to eye with one another, being on the same page with one another, just peace and harmony, getting along well with your significant others. This could be a new connection, uh, an existing connection, uh, whatever um, the energies uh, open up for you. It's, it's very, very good. So, we have two powerful uh, arcana showing up here. For you in the month of December. Wow. So things possibly with the Leo card uh, being 
uh, you know, intense, passionate, sexual energy, sexual expression. Uh, so it's all good. So what's crossing that lover's card here, Leo? I mean, I'm sorry. What's covering the was covering the crossing card Aries. Okay, let me stay focused here. Um, look at this shit. You got the world card. So this is a relationship card too. Oh, opportunities expected or unexpected. I think that, the, you know, because of the three major arcanas that are showing up here. For some Aries that I am reading for, and this is no lie. This is just how I intuitively feel that when it comes to your relationships, it, your relationships are going to be dynamic. OK, so if you are in a relationship, there's some sort of dynamic elements that are taking place. The world card is showing up here is not only uh, expected opportunities and unexpected opportunities, but it's just sharing each other again uh, when you have a major arcana that's crossing the major arcana and, and it's positive all things are possible that's the world card all things are possible when it comes to your relationships singles you have an opportunity to go out there and meet somebody new the strength card is giving you the support to, and the courage to go out there and put your energy you know your energies out there and connect with someone new just feeling grand feeling all empowered again courageous and then if there are any other things dings as i call them in these re uh, readings uh comes up then that strength card is there to support you as well you can handle it any challenges that may uh, come your way so anyway oh look at this so you have four major arcanas that are opening up the energies and you guys see me shuffle these cards and this is how I do it. I don't like when people throw in comments that the cards are set up and I'm manipulating. No, I don't do that because who, I don't have time for that. But this is what's coming through. OK, uh, so the magician, two sides to the magician, always um, the, the positive side, positive aspect of this magician is that. Whether you're single, whether you're in a relationship, you have all the elements. OK, this is about manifestation. So if you're single and you want that uh, relationship, the positive side of the magician says you have it. OK, we're giving it to you. You can get that relationship that you want. That's the aspect of the uh, positive. El yeah, positive side of the magician. Now, let's get to the negative side, because there is always that negative side that comes through. This is a actual person that I pick up read the energies this is a trickster this is a manipulator this is a false person this is someone who puts on uh, a mask okay because uh, they're trying to extract something from you this is your sociopathic person this is your narcissistic energy as well these people lack empathy they don't know how to feel they don't know how to love and this is what makes it so false okay so let me just say for those who are single and there's a potential of meeting someone new, make sure that you pay attention to any red flags because they, you know, oftentimes target you if they feel that they uh, you have something that they want. And then once they, um, you know, extract from you whatever it is that you have provided to them, uh, the energy can still carry on. But you have to recognize that there's going to be some not not so quite consistency in terms of, you know, their behaviors. And they will slip up every now and then. Um, but if they know that they're slipping up or that mask is coming off, then they're, they'll sort of double up their energy so that you're not catching on to them and their energy. So be careful. Be careful. These people are very they're manipulators. They lack empathy. They don't know how to feel. They don't know how to put themselves uh, in your shoes it, when it comes to love. Mm -mm, they don't love you. They love what they're getting from you and what you're providing to them. All right. So don't get it twisted. So whenever that magician comes up here, I have to express um, that energy here because it's so important. I get so many comments coming in about people dealing with narcissists and, and magicians. And once they you know, um, extract from you or you come to some sort of realization what you're dealing with, it could also ultimately leave you devastated and destroyed. Then sitting back thinking like, number one, how did I allow myself to allow an energy like that to come into my life? Number two, believing that no one is capable of doing such a thing. Well, you better uh, believe it because they will. Next up, Aries. 
two of cups you know i like the cups to show up here so okay you're already starting off with a dynamic energy here for the month of um december and i'd already spoke about yeah some of you are experiencing you know some sort of great great powerful energy connected to your relationships this however is the invitation card it represents uh, the water signs cancer scorpio or pisces uh male or female so again this could be quality time spent with a current relationship okay building up on the chemistry uh talking about things because you share the same interests like-mindedness okay that's all and there's this not only chemistry but there's this reciprocity what you give you get back that's the mutual that's the energy of a uh, meaningful uh, relationship Aries okay what you give you get back it's not always about that one-sidedness and it's always going to be the one-sidedness with the uh, magician on the negative side the sociopath and the narcissist okay it's always going to be about them even though they may be telling you differently no it's always going to be about them and what they can get from you and how you are best going to uh, provide for uh, whatever essential needs that they've targeted you for. On the other hand, this is meeting someone new. If you're single, spending quality time, like I said before, if you're already paired up invitations, of course, it's in line with the holiday. So you could be inviting uh, people out for dinner, uh, Christmas, well, Thanksgiving dinner, Christmas dinner, whatever. It doesn't really matter. It's a very, very positive card. And it's one of the great cards that I like to show up in a reading. Well, you have the greatest card, which is the <laughs> lover's card that starts you off the entire you know, month of December, and it's focused on relationships. So I do feel with the magician on the negative side, there is that element where you could be, uh, you know, meeting people or dealing with people who are already exposed on a uh, negative side of the magician. But again, it all depends on your situation and, and you know, what you're willing to deal with. Uh, it doesn't really matter because this is on your side. The strength card is on your side. So you are able to or will be able to deal with any uh, things that are not uh, to your liking or having to deal with anybody's nonsense or bullshit. Now you have another major arcana. So you have five major arcanas and it's only a 10 card spread Aries. So then following uh, it mirrors the magician. So someone may be having to go into some sort of introspection for a current relationship and trying to figure out if this magician is really real could be or is those people who are going within just temporarily disconnecting your energies to evaluate where you are where you want to be in your current relationships or if you're single moving forward in a future um, potential relationship that's all this hermit card is meditation uh, and then hopefully once you're able to evaluate the giving yourself enough time to evaluate uh, a situation or someone's energy and stuff, then you're going to come out with, hopefully that's the goal to come out with a clear, brighter perspective and knowing what you are going to do. The scythe is used to make that decision once you come out. Okay. F favorable or non-favorable. It all depends on what your situation is. All right. So next up after that major arcana, um, Aries, we had, look, see, it's all about celebrations. You have two of cups, three of cups. You have the lovers. <laughs> You have the world card, you have the magician on the positive side, strength card is your shadow. This is about enjoying quality time with your significant others, a need to celebrate comes in. I like the three of cups to come in because the fact that we're moving right into the holidays, that's what it's all about. So spending quality time. It's underneath the lover's card. So there's plenty of energy where, you know, you could be connected putting yourself out there uh, socially and enjoying each other's company. You got that with the two of cups invitations. Wow. So three of cups is representing cancer. I forgot to mention that two of cups represent cancer, the water sign energies, Virgo, no, water signs. And I say Virgo, duh. Two of cups represents cancer, Scorpio and Pisces, and then three of cups, the same energy. So it's a need to celebrate enjoying each other's company, uh, partying, having some fun. Um, could be, you know, with your significant other. Then socially going out there. If you're single, there's people to meet. So put yourself out there. 
and make that new connection because you have the support of all the other cards, Aries, that is showing up here for your reading. Five major arcanas and a 10 card spread. And we're not even done that. Make that six because the death card is showing up here now. And this is about a major transformation. Death card represents uh, Scorpio and other water signs, Cancer and um, Pisces, male or female. So now if you're familiar with the tarot and you're familiar with the death card, you know it's about releasing and letting something go. We're only talking about love and relationships. And so if there's a need for you, uh, Aries, that I'm um, reading for to release and let go of a relationship that's not uh, resonating for you for your highest good, then you know what? Do it. And don't be afraid to do it because strength card is on your side to give you the courage to pull out of that relationship, possibly recognize the relationship that uh, for what it is. And if it ain't going nowhere, if it's not, you know, uh, being reciprocated, could be part of the, uh, you know, magician's energy on the negative side. All these messages are coming in for my fellow Arians to recognize, you know, what if you're single, you have to do. And then if you're in a relationship, what you need to do. So it's a lot of information that's coming through here does not denote physical death. Uh, but the guarantee of the death card is if you're able to release something that's not resonating for you for your highest good, then we have something definitely new for you. It's following the three of cups card. It's underneath the world card. So there's options expected or unexpected opportunities. So don't be afraid. Um, you know, to hang on to a relationship if it's not serving your uh, your your purpose. And then, you know, most people, not most people, let me correct myself. Um, people are afraid to make those choices and those moves because they don't want to feel, uh, you know, left out or feel like they they need to be in a relationship. And even if the relationship is fucked up, they're going to still be in a relationship because then they can tell the girlfriends and their families and their, their boyfriends or whatever that they're in a relationship. They have somebody, but they don't know. The people don't know all the things that you deal with when you're, you know, in together in that relationship that is not resonating for you for your highest good. So they don't know your pain. Uh, you're only you know, could be, you know, possibly feeding them on a surface level, but then suffering in the inside. All right. So recognize that as major transformation Four of pentacles is someone being stingy, slightly stingy and uh, withholding love and affection. Is that you, Aries? It could be. If it's someone doing it to you, that could be. Now, whether or not it's an earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, male or female, doesn't really matter. Recognize the energy for what it is. That's the only thing that the four of pentacles in a general love reading means, that someone's withholding, someone's being a little bit stingy, being tight, loosening your grip. All right, now, now Aries, You are not the first sign that has received the double 